was in the rain last year in the front and you did an amazing set. Are you excited to be back in the country to be playing again? Hell yeah! <laughs> Very excited. I actually got an opportunity to go out last night. I went to a nice, uh, cool little spot to celebrate our tour manager's birthday and got to hang out with some of the uh, the Islanders. Cool. So you were in town last night. Where best were you? Uh, you don't remember the name. What's uh, the club? What was the name of the club? Lilies? No, no, no. Crystal? It was called um, the Gafton. The Grafton. The Grafton. Grafton Lands. Ah, Land. Brilliant. Good. Yeah. Good. You know, because you know more than me at this stage. Yeah. So, do you enjoy the Irish crowd? Because last year you really rocked the house. They were great. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, they come and celebrate uh, the Black IP experience in the rain. Okay. No matter uh, what the weather is, they come here to, to have a good time, and that's all that matters. And do you have a ritual before you go on? Do you want to get yourself psyched up or anything, or do you just go on and you're automatically full of energy? No, but uh, we have a little huddle that we do and get everyone together and make fun of people who got too drunk the night before and did stupid things. So that's always fun. We like to embarrass everyone. And then, uh, yeah. Me and Apple just got it in. Hey, yeah, we try to do, uh, we got this new thing. Uh, uh, Fergie introduced us to our new trainer, DB, so we do a, what we call 500 blocks. We come on 500 blocks before the show get the blood going. Really? You gotta go. But you guys look super fit, right? You're always running around the stage, or last year I'm sure you'll be tonight. Do you have a workout routine then, or, or how, how do you stay so on your game? Well, Fergie's the one that kind of like set the tone for the workout. She brought you whipped them into shape, do you? She, no, brought, she just... brought DB aboard, and he kind of like shifted my whole mentality and app and, and, and Ferg to like, oh, she's always been there, but to really focus and go in, as we say, to get it in. Yeah. They've been, I've been very impressed with the boys because I've, you know, always had to work out on a chick. Uh, and you know, I want to fit into my costume. But these guys are very impressive now. I see them going at it, and they get really loud when they work out. It's a lot of testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> they start screaming, saying at each other. Do you feel more of a pressure as the, the only girl in the group, though, to, to, to be looking amazing and looking fab and working out? Because a lot of people do focus in on the woman. It's the sexism that's still out there. I, you know, for, for stamina reasons for touring, because we're jumping all the time on stage, our songs are very high energy, and, and I'm a singer, so I need that stamina to be able to catch my breath, and to be able to hit those notes on stage, and not be a wreck. And uh, I want to fit into my costumes, you know, I want to look good, and, and uh, build self-esteem makes me feel better. Okay, but your music obviously is amazing, I've loved it since the start, but nowadays, right, all of a sudden, Chris Brown, Neo, everybody, it sounds like they're trying to be the black guy things out there, do they think they're all copying, they're all dance music, everything's dance now, whereas you have always had the hip-hop dance kind of flavor. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, it's just inspiration, you know, people get inspired by uh, things that, that um, you know, are put out into the, in the, to the universe, and, you know, it's, we're, we're flattered, um, we had the opportunity to, to meet people like David Guetta, and, Boys Noise and all the other dance hardcore um, DJs. DJs that come from that era, from that from that scene, and we were blessed enough to uh, to kind of have our own twist to the, the Black Eyed Peas. And everything goes in cycles. Yeah, true. So you kind of just have to feel the pulse. And what's going to be the next. Yeah, the next thing. That's the, that's the thing you always seem to be able to do. You always seem to be able to predict what's going to be the next big thing. It's like, is, is that as a group you come together and decide what's going to be on the next album? I assume Will I Am has an influence on this too. Like, how do you decide what you're going to do for the next album? Um, well, right now, we're, we're basically, you know, take, we're going to take a break as the Black Eyed Peas and do uh, solo things. We're just going to take time off. <laughs> you're not going to do solo stuff again? But, yeah, the, I know that they you are. Guys are yeah, and, you know, going out. Going out to the clubs, uh, going out to the city that we're in, and absorbing like what kind of music genres they're, they're playing, and, and you know, and also traveling around the world, we get to see other type of music, and that's how we implement it into Black Eyed Peas. And it's and when you're going to the clubs constantly, I mean, Black Eyed Peas we live, our music lives in the club. Yeah. So it's kind of basically, what are we, what are we going to be wanting to hear in the club? And also, what are we going to be wanting to perform? Okay. And, it's, and it always goes back to being very high energy for us. Okay. And part of the reason we're taking a break is it also to kind of get a grip on your personal life because you're so always on tour, you're always playing all over the world. How the hell do you keep a marriage going? I'm homesick. I'm homesick. It's my fault <laughs> we're taking a break because I just need it. Yeah. And I'm going strong, you know, all over Elvis. Um, Monkey, uh, elephant monkey business, and then I did the Duchess, so I stayed touring those two years, and then yeah. uh, and then uh, got married, and then, and then got right back into uh, yeah. Peace Land. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
but, so. but is it hard to have a relationship when you only see, I assume you only see your other halves every, like, I don't know, month or something? Yeah, I don't know. But well, the thing about it is that, you know, Skype, um, iChat, FaceTime, it's very important because, you know, you've gone from your loved ones. I have three children. One of them is going to college in a couple of like, less than, than a month. And, you know, like, I'm missing things like my birthday and my wedding anniversary. But it's a sacrifice to let them know that I'm trying to uh, pay for the future for my family. And even on this time off, like, the, uh, the communication with my wife was like, yo, I got to still get it in by myself. So I got to make sure that I work hard to feed the family. So we have an understanding like that as well. Brilliant. Well, guys, listen, I'm really looking forward to just getting on stage and doing your thing again. So it's rain, rain, sun, or what? Sleet or snow. I think yes. I'm in Ireland. Yeah. I will be there. Thanks a million for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.